The truth in our society is so very important for all of us. Now, when we have the law enforcement, they want to know the truth, but how about the corporate sector? If you've got a prospective employee, wouldn't you like to know whether there's going to be truth there? And today, we're going to see a new apparatus that is going to show people that it is easy to find out if prospective employees are telling the truth. Now this apparatus is called the FBSA, the Forensic Voice Stress Analyzer. To get more information on this truth machine, we spoke to its creator, Lieutenant Colonel John W. Ryan. Now, tell me, you've got a very distinguished career. A lot of people know you around the world, but that is in not with the lie detector business. Your business is what? Well, actually, my business for a lot of years was uh, just training cops and law enforcement weapons and tactics teams, and. Um, I get, and I've always been training interrogators and everything, and it's just I've become focused on that now, well and truly, now that we've got something to back it up. Cool. Now, today we're here to talk about the Forensic Voice Stress Analyzer, your baby. Yeah, I um, was trained in the US on uh, lie detectors, for want of a better word, yes. and voice stress analyzers. I qualified as an instructor. Right. The one thing that really annoyed me was uh, I knew they weren't working because <laughs> I was able to trick them all. Uh, I even did a couple of phony tests with one of the biggest ones and uh, they published it as a great test in a foreign language, stuff like that. Some of the theories they were teaching were just that theories. I was dealing with people who had $50 PhDs and passed themselves off. and they were the, In other words, the truth industry <laughs> looked like it was full of liars. But as far as I know, lie detectors have been around for 60 years. What's so different about your product? The difference between ours is what we did with the first one where um, my family financed. So I actually went to a scientific instrument maker, manufacturer in Australia, developed an algorithm which was then passed on to a PhD programmer from, who graduated from Curtin University in Perth. So in other words, it was the first one ever developed by academics in science and was based on that. that. In other words, I wasn't a layman going in trying to do my own, which I did try at one stage. Right. Um, I just forgot about that. That wasn't what I was after. I was after something that worked, mm -hmm. and that's our major difference. We work. Now, I do believe that one or two governments have shown an interest in your, this product, the vo Forensic Voice Stress Analyzer. Uh, but you say it can also be adapted for the commercial market. We actually have several governments already using it, and even an anti-corruption commission and that. And for we, what we did, we were approached by different people, um, and particularly a, an armoured truck carrier, actually. Right. Cash and Transit have something that can be disappearing very rapidly, <laughs> um, and they were susceptible. So we, st we developed a civilian edition, exactly the same, but a civilian edition specifically for corporations. So whether you're a bank, insurance, uh, sporting bodies, we've done some tests for some sporting bodies, uh, things like that, we can actually uh, have a civilian one we now have available. I've heard that it doesn't only check your voice stress analysation, does it? It's also other parts of the body. Yeah, well in actual fact what we did, because we were using a science, science people, uh, they uh, wanted us to concentrate on the vagus nerve innovation, which is the subconscious nervous system. And so, and it all produces frequency, our pancreas, our kidneys, our heart. So when it comes out our mouth, it's not just the voice box, for want of a better word. It's not just, just your tongue, that's the resonance cavity. It's actually a dozen parts of your body. So we actually capture the total frequency range. It's the only one in the world that does that. And uh, we filter it and produce it on the screen instantly. Both you and I speak English, but this doesn't only work in English, does it? As a matter of fact, um, I just conducted some tests in Colombia with an interpreter and all the tests were done in Spanish. I have no Spanish ability whatsoever, right. except maybe rum and cola. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but the, uh, in actual fact, it's uh, used, language has no bearing whatsoever. It's been used in many languages um, already and has makes no difference to the findings because we're using the frequency of the body. For the public sector, does the candidate have to know that they're having the test? Uh, no, they don't have to. This is one, one thing we're careful who has this um, because it can be used covertly. We can use it on a telephone, we can use it from tape recordings. Uh, but one, one particular uh, people in California, they use it for pre-employment totally all the time. So it's part of the employment um, application is going on the FESA. 
Now, it's not only businesses that can benefit from this, it, possibly sport can? Well, it's rather ironic. We've, we've done some tests for some sporting bodies, just they've hired our testing services, and uh, that's something else we have available. We will come anywhere in the world and conduct tests, and we can do, because it's a, a forensic analyzer, I can run, I, I just did six tests in Hyderabad, in India, right. myself, in less than a day. Right. Well, if I had one of the old technical things, I'd be lucky to do one or two. Sure. So, that's a, so economically, it's good too for corporations or sporting bodies. And it's rather ironical, just now recently, uh, it's been suggested, I think it might have been Steve Waugh in Perth, my hometown, right. has suggested, uh, you know, detectives should be used for uh, corruption within the sport, uh, which is what we've been doing the last two years in other sports. I suppose a lot of people who would be watching this would want to know just how successful is the Forensic Voice Stress Analyzer? Yes, well, I'll quote the programmer who was a scientist, a PhD programmer. Without human intervention, this instrument is 98% right. And remembering we do operate it, and we do look at the uh, results, so, that, uh, so we have a bit of subjectiveness about it being interfered with by humans. The good thing is, and we have it on record now, since 2006 when we commenced this product to now, we have a 100% hit rate, which surprises 100%. me. 100%. 100%. really surprises me. Um, we've used it on uh, mean media, on radio, TV. Every, it's been, I can't think of anywhere it has not been used now. Right. And so far, so good. Before we see the demonstration, can you tell people how they can contact you if they want more information? Uh, yeah, they can go to our web page at uh, itvt.org. Mm -hmm. um, our phone numbers are there. Right. We have representatives in Singapore, uh, Malaysia. Um, I represent in the USA and Australia. And uh, we're opening in Europe soon. And we are doing a deal with a company in Thailand uh, for the corporate sector. Yeah. Uh, we don't do any government work in Thailand because I come here to have holiday. <laughs> And I believe you've got a suitable candidate set up to do this demonstration with. Well, rather ironical, I met a man a couple of years ago and uh, he became become um, acquainted. Um, and uh, we had some common interest during a discussion one time about psychology. Right. And I found out he was actually an Australian um, university trained psychologist. Huh? A and uh, he's now moved to Thailand, which right. I don't blame him. If I was a bachelor, I would be too. Good. So he's going to be taking part in this? Yes, Prime Minister. Right. All right. Well, I look forward to seeing that. The Forensic Voice Stress Analyzer is a simple yet effective program that is totally portable and produces 100% accurate results. The interviewee simply answers some basic questions and then any line of questioning can take place. The Forensic Voice Stress Analyzer is being used by government agencies, corporations and approved certified testing service providers in six different countries including Malaysia, Singapore and Brunei. The commercial sector uses for this product are endless and do save businesses vast amounts, as well as ensuring employment of only honest individuals, which in turn projects a much higher standard and image of the company. I mean, what I'm going to do, we're going to just going to run a cursory test. It'll still show reactions, but I'll get you to tell the truth and a lie to the same question. That yeah. way we can see the difference on the screen. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. And I'm not going to try and embarrass you and ask you about your vast wealth or anything like that. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> so I'll just ask simple questions. And let's go back to, um, well, you've been to university and you're quite scholastic and everything. So let's go back to school days and... Just answer yes or no to every question. Have you ever lied to a teacher? Yes. Okay, this time I'll ask you the same question, but I want you to say no, mm -hmm. which is a lie, because it's obvious. It looks like quite a lot. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so have you ever lied to a teacher? No. And just to give you an idea, very dramatic. Huge difference. Huge difference. So you have a deep voice anyway, so that has no bearing on anything. But what happens, uh, as you're aware, the vagus nerve controls our subconscious, but the frequency produced by the whole body, uh, it, the vagus nerve tries to bring it back to normal. So although there's no true consequence, in the back of your mind, you know you lied. Yeah. So subconsciously, it still alters the frequency, so the pattern starts moving horizontal. Wouldn't this be great on some politicians? Anyway, we won't go there. So. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Have you ever driven over the speed limit? Yes. 
Okay, this time I'll get you to say no to that as well. Which I might add is a question we use all the time as a control question in any examination. So have you ever driven over the speed limit? No. Okay, and as you see, once again, dramatic change. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Um, let's talk about relationships now. Mm -hmm. uh, have you ever lied to a uh, member of the opposite sex? Yes. Okay. Uh, we'll just do that one again because the yes was very prolonged. <laughs> Have you ever lied to a member of the opposite sex? No. Oh, as you can see, that's very dramatic. It's huge. <laughs> so I think you can see how simple it is. Yeah. And because we're using frequency, it doesn't matter. It wouldn't matter what language you answer us in or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, because the body's producing the frequency, you cannot control it in yeah. any way, shape, or form. There we just saw a very impressive demonstration. Now, this is a portable lie detector which could just benefit your company. The way it can benefit your company is you can possibly find out about prospective employees and if they are not telling the truth. You've seen it working? It's simple, the FBSA works. If you're an employer with the employees and colleagues that have to demonstrate integrity and honesty, you need this because with the FBSA, the truth pays.